I tell you one thing, even Zenosama is going to be blown away. I'm Ashley with Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Dragon Ball Super fights. In celebration of the glorious Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, we're going to be taking a look at the events that took place in the series before it. As such, if you haven't watched the show already, you can expect some spoilers on this list. But for those who have, let's enjoy. Number 10, Goku vs. Beerus. Seems this was worth the wait after all. <sighs> yeah. I'm sorry it took me so long, Lord Beerus. <sighs> after previously defeating Goku effortlessly, the God of Destruction finally gets the opponent he's been looking for when Goku obtains the powers of a Super Saiyan God. Beerus and Goku take their battle to the skies, underwater, and even space. They're so powerful that the force of their punches colliding almost destroy the entire universe. While Goku puts up a good fight, his new form eventually burns out, leading to a crushing loss for everybody's favorite Saiyan. Fortunately, Beerus spares the Earth because he falls asleep. Despite the anticlimactic ending, this battle of the gods was a great way to start the season. But you know, you can stop pretending now. I wasn't pretending, Whis. I did fall asleep. My mistake. Number 9 Hit vs. Jiren. During the Tournament of Power, two of Goku's fiercest foes went head to head. In the red corner, we had the overwhelmingly powerful Jiren. Over in the blue corner, there was Hit, the formidable assassin. <laughs> In every other fight we had seen Universe 11's Beast in, he was able to power through with brute force. But with Hit's time skip ability as his ace in the hole, this gave Jiren a whole new challenge. <laughs> Unfortunately for the Universe 6 ace, this just wasn't enough as Jiren soon learned to adapt his technique and make the whole thing like a walk in the park. <laughs> Number 8 Gohan and Piccolo vs Tien and Goku Just hours before the Universal Tournament begins, we're treated to a fantastic 2 on 2 practice match between 4Z fighters. <laughs> Gohan and his dad, I mean Piccolo's expert teamwork keep Goku and Tien on their toes. But after Tien calls off the match for being too dangerous, the father and son continue their fight one on one. The high-speed clash is full of passion and earth-shattering hits. Gohan's raw strength eventually pushes Goku to his most powerful form. And when the dust clears, Gohan loses to his father with a smile. But the respect from Goku turned this training battle into a heartwarming moment between father and son. Let's keep pushing each other, son. Number 7, Goku vs. Kefla. To defeat Goku, two Saiyans, Kolifa and Kale, fuse into the powerful warrior named Kefla. Although Goku holds his own at first, he finds himself quickly overwhelmed. After finally being taken to the brink of defeat, Goku turns things around by triggering his Ultra Instinct form for the second time. In this form, he effortlessly dodges Kefla's devastating attacks in impressive fashion, and Kefla quickly finds herself unable to keep up. When she launches a last-ditch attack, Goku not only dodges it, but uses a Kamehameha to grind up her energy beam and blast her out the arena. <laughs> Number 6, 
Number 6, Goku and Trunks vs Goku Black and Zamasu. I have now reached Super Saiyan Rose. <laughs> When the Z Fires travel to future Trunks' world, they expected a straightforward battle with the mysterious Goku Black. But after Black became a Super Saiyan Rose, stabbed Vegeta, and teamed up with the Divine Zamasu, their battle became a struggle for survival. Goku and Black's similar techniques made their fast-paced fight extremely close. Although Trunks managed to hold his own, the fact that Zamasu is immortal made winning pretty much impossible. The only reason our hero survived is because of a desperate attack from a wounded Vegeta. What the? This crushing defeat was not only surprising, but established the deadly pair as a force to be reckoned with. Vegeta, eh? Honestly, I didn't think he had that kind of power left in him. It appears the warrior race will refuse to relinquish the struggle right up until the bitter end. Number 5, Goku vs. Hit. I'll admit it. Without that technique, I won't last long. Okay, so what are you waiting for? How did Goku fight an assassin that can time skip? Easy. He brought back an old trick in the middle of battle. During his first confrontation with Hit, Goku multiplied the power of his already powerful Super Saiyan Blue transformation with the classic Kaioken technique. This allowed him to move fast enough to surpass the assassin's time manipulating skills. While it was great to see Goku reach new heights with an old power, the real highlight of this battle is seeing how both fighters try to one-up each other by analyzing and countering each other's moves. Their bout felt like an exciting chess match, albeit one with a lot more screaming. <laughs> Number 4, Vegeta vs Topo. As the T.O.P. nears its close, the remaining fighters decide it's time to bust out the big guns. <laughs> None more so than Eleven's Topo and his newly claimed powers as a god of destruction. Leaving devastation in his wake, the only person who could stand up to this behemoth was the Saiyan Prince, and the two quickly lit up the arena with some of the most visceral action the series has ever seen. <laughs> Even with his newly attained evolved Super Saiyan Blue form, it's no easy battle. But powered by his love for Bulma, Trunks, and Bulla, Vegeta pulls out one of his old tricks to finally put a stop to the mustachioed macho for good. <laughs> Number 3, Fused Zamasu vs Vegito. And who are you? As individual fighters, Goku and Vegeta didn't stand a chance against the mighty monologuing fused Zamasu. But once Vegeta put aside his pride, the two Saiyans fused to become Vegito Blue and quickly make Zamasu eat his words. Vegito outthinks and overpowers his opponent at every turn. His improvisation and ridiculously cool combined techniques nearly put Zamasu into the ground. <laughs> Unfortunately, the fusion runs out before the final blow is struck, due to their power being just too much for the Potara earrings to handle. Uh, what happened? I thought they had an hour. Number 2, Goku vs Jiren. When these two titans finally clash, Goku finds himself in trouble when Jiren turns his own trump card against him, the Spirit Bomb. Just as things look to be over, Goku miraculously bounces back and unlocks his most powerful transformation yet, Ultra Instinct. Goku's new form not only changes his appearance, but also his fighting style, and allows him to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the most powerful pride trooper. 
However, much to the surprise of everyone, Jiren is able to defeat Goku effortlessly. Luckily, we didn't have to wait long for their rematch. Number 1 Goku vs Jiren Round 2 With the fate of the universe on the line, Goku finally masters Ultra Instinct. With the new power at hand, he's finally able to step up to Jiren, and the two engage in what is easily the flashiest fight in Dragon Ball history, complete with key blasts, fists, and just a hint of desperation on the part of the crown jewel of Universe 11. But just at the pivotal moment, the weight of Ultra Instinct finally hits our hero, and it seems that all hope is truly lost, until he gets a little help. <laughs> Although Goku needed help from two former enemies to take Jiren out of the game, his winning method takes nothing away from the tremendous battle as Dragon Ball Super closed out on an all-time high. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.